the decisions we make each day affect the course of our lives. I was asked by some of the staff members at First Coast Women's Services why I was getting involved. I told her that I had once taken the life of a child and now I wanted to be involved in helping to save them. The total number of Americans killed in all U.S. wars is 1.3 million. The abortionist is now inserting this suction tip. What would you expect for intact tissue? You moves toward the child. Since abortion became legal, the number of American children killed is 48 million. 473,670. See the child's mouth wide open. And counting. This is a silent scream. I was a 20-year-old Army warrant officer serving in Vietnam in 1969. As helicopter pilots, I was trained in both troop transport and gunships. We had a few casualties in the units that I served in. We lost, pilots lost their lives and crew members were wounded also. But the death of a particular friend of mine had a profound impact on me. I decided that uh, I was gonna take revenge on the enemy. I fired the first salvos and my firing was very effective. What we didn't know was that there were women and children also in the village. They weren't supposed to be there. I was told later that morning that my firing had been effective, but that I had taken the life of a child. After I returned to the States, my wife uh, had had our first child, our child, and I had difficulty relating to the child and difficulty loving my wife. I didn't talk with my wife about what had happened. In fact, I didn't talk with anybody. Eventually, I alienated my family, destroyed my marriage, and ended my military career. After a period of time of depression, I realized that there was no getting away from it, so I decided to end my life. I prepared myself, I got everything ready, and I looked over and I saw laundry on the couch. It was an odd thought to have, but I just didn't want to be found with dirty laundry on the couch. So I took my laundry to a laundromat nearby. While I was taking the clothes out of the dryer, a coin fell out. It had a cross cut in it. I knew it wasn't mine. I looked around, didn't see anybody else there. I remembered there was a little church down the road, not very far. I went down to this church and went inside. I met a pastor named Doug Phillips. He was the first person I had told, and he listened to me. When I was done telling him, Doug told me that the sins that I was, that were holding me down, weighing on me, uh, Christ died for that. Then he told me how much God loves me, and he had a plan for my life. I was walking on the beach one day and I asked him, show me what you want me to do the rest of my days, and he did. It was a short time later that my good friend Lee Perdue came to me and said, there's a job opportunity as a volunteer on the Moby unit at First Coast Women's Services, you could be a, a driver. I had truck driver experience, one of my adventures. I made application and I was accepted at First Coast Women's Services as a volunteer driver on the Mobile Pregnancy Center. At First Coast Women's Services, we try to give as much information as possible to the fathers and the mothers who are in a crisis pregnancy situation so that they can make an informed decision for the life of their child. We try to encourage them to choose life and give them hope and also give them support as they go through the situation. I wear the little feet on all of my shirts, not only as a constant reminder of my child, but of the fact that Christ loves us all and has a plan for all of us. I now have a chance to serve on a different battlefield and I serve with some of the finest, people who show great courage. Their commitment to Christ is what allows them to do that. It's my firm belief that 
unless you're taking a stand against abortion and speaking up against it, then you're condoning it. It's time for the men in this city to stand up and speak out against abortion. It's time for you to become a warrior. I believe that God is calling us to. It is respecting the sanctity of human life. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. 